In today's video, I am going to be breaking down how Kawhi Leonard plays the small forward in the NBA. Of course, to be a great small forward, you need to be a fantastic defender, a very good three-point shooter, and also in the third tip is to be able to slash and cut back door to the rim. Let's get down and let's check out Kawhi Leonard. Okay, so cutting towards the rim is very, very important. Here he's able to cut towards the rim by going back door on his, of course, defender, and he's able to finish with a dunk. This was all set up by him doing a quick cut towards the ball handler, and then, of course, that defender thinks that he's going to then, of course, do a dribble handoff towards that side. However, instead, what happens is Kawhi Leonard then pushes off of that left foot, and he's able to then cut towards that rim. This is a very good pass that threaded the needle between two defenders so that Kawhi Leonard could get that ball. However, here, he is also very good with footwork. He's able to catch that ball on his left foot. He's allowed to take two steps, one, two, and here he's able to sky up for that shot. Now, this is also why you need to be good with both hands. So here he does go up for that dunk. However, the reason why he used his left hand is if he used his right hand, that defender right there, Zach Levine, would have, of course, stolen that ball, and that would have never been a dunk. However, by going and finishing with his left hand, he was able to finish with a dunk without getting blocked. Also, these days, you have to be a very good one-on-one -on -one offensive player in basketball to be able to be a very good small forward. So here he uses his foot work to be able to pivot and of course swipe that ball down low underneath the hands of that defender and he's able to then attack that rim he's able to to do two dribbles towards the baseline you really want to limit your ball handling when you're attacking the rim here he's able to take his third dribble which then allows him to set up his spin move into the middle of the key for a fadeaway jump shot so, of course, after taking those two dribbles towards the net, he's able to take a third where he lands on both feet. Of course, this is going to leave you balanced, but also gives you options. And here he's able to spin back right left and goes up for his shot. You also have to be very good at running the floor in a fast break. Here he's able to get that alley-oop dunk, and he's able to do this because he's able to cut in at that free throw line extended, and this ball handler was able to draw up that baseline or that bottom defender so that now Kawhi Leonard has a huge lane for, of course, that dunk. You also have to be really good at posting up. Now, of course, this is a post-up, but it's out near the perimeter. Of course, he is, of course, being front-faced. That pass is able to go under or, I mean, over top. He's able to push off on his defender, which is totally legal as long as you don't get called for it. And he's able to go left-right up into his shot. He has a very good shot as well. Look how straight that elbow is underneath that basketball. And he's able to finish with that mid-range jumper. So here we have him out on the corner. He gets that kick out pass. He's able to go for that shot fake. One dribble out towards the side. Hops. And he's able to finish that shot. Now he's able to do this by dribbling with his right foot on the ground. He's able to take a step with his right foot. Takes that dribble. Hops into a two-footed landing so that he can go up now you always want to land both feet at the same time if you no matter which way you are going into the way you shoot the ball you never want to change your shot depending on the direction you're going you always want to be the same shot you also have to be a very good on ball defender here he's able to strip that ball from that player and then he's able to turn around going the other direction and takes that three point shot by turning defense into offense you can be a very good player these days with the five out offense being able to know how to use that screen and roll on a five out offense is going to be very handy for you to finish now of course here he could have passed down to Zubak but Julius Randle was going to be able to cut that pass off but instead we have Kawhi Leonard who was able to finish anyways with his right hand also, by having very good footwork, using this crossover, getting that right foot down so that he can spin off that defender who overplayed on that, on that left side, and now Kawhi Leonard is able to finish right in the middle of the key. Now, he did finish this. However, this is very good. At this time, he's able to then do a quick crossover, overhand crossover towards that left side that brings his defender over towards that left side. That player overplays that side. Kawhi Leonard knows 
notice is that he's got an open lane if he spins and he's able to spin around that player and of course finish. A very good move to use is one that Kobe as well as Michael Jordan used as well is of course when you're dribbling towards the left side you can take a quick half spin land on both feet at the exact same time bring that ball over towards that left side and then turn back around for that shot now this is a move that you can use on either side but this is a very high level move really moving your shoulders bringing that ball over towards this side the side that you're faking landing on both feet so that you could shake back and then of course take a shot on this side you can literally go shoulder and then shoulder fake one more time and then turn back because you were on two feet however here he's just turning around onto his right side for that shot also understanding players momentum so here he has a player who is recovering out to Kawhi Leonard he takes that shot fake because there's a player who is sprinting out to guard him that then gets that defender straight up in which case that momentum is still taking that defender towards you meanwhile you could be cutting baseline and you're able to then of course finish here with a dunk so rebounding defense being able to finish at the rim with very good footwork and hitting threes can allow you you to become a very good small forward in basketball. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.